Hello you guys, Dexstar here and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another episode of our perfume, skincare and cosmetic series. <laughs> I'm nearly forgetting what we are going to be talking about, but I am not because today we are still on the topic of, or uh, this week we are still on the topic of hair, and I will be introducing you to a brand that I was also introduced when I was going through stuff in Sephora, and this is Sol de Janeiro. Sol de Janeiro. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but this is a Brazilian. Um, a Brazilian inspired brand wherein everything from their range is inspired by Brazil. So from, they actually have um, perfumes, they have body creams, they have body products, and they also have hair products, which actually led me to this. So as I've said in my previous videos, um, I am actually always, I mean, as you can see my hair at the moment, it has um, hairspray and before it has hairspray um, I had to blow dry it to like move to the direction that I want it and also I have to sometimes do curling irons just to give it a bit of a a bit of a volume at the back here to give it a bit of a body something like that so I do a bit of hair iron I do a bit blow dry and it's always on constant heat especially that I am in the Middle East the heat and the UV is also part of this particular product. So, this is actually a, um, it says here, this is Sol de Janeiro hair, and it's a milky leave-in conditioner. So it's basically, it is a leave-in conditioner. The only thing is, the best part is that um, it just doesn't do conditioning onto your hair, but it also protects it from heat. I think the lady says like up to 450, 450 Fahrenheit or something, or I really forgot, but I know that it protects my hair because I do um, hair iron and blow dry, it protects my hair, and then it also protects my hair from UV rays, which is beautiful. <laughs> but anyways, so that is the main purpose of uh, this product. And then, Another thing that I'm actually drawn to with this product is that, well, aside from the scent, it really smells so good. And I think all of the, all of the Sol de Janeiro products, when you smell it, it's like the gourmand, gourmand scent. It's like the um, appetizing, it's very appetizing scent. All of their products are really like appetite. It has that appetizing scent, which I really, really love. And with this, it's just, brings you straight to summer and straight to the the beach in Brazil, like how people live, like they're so carefree and they just celebrate who they are and celebrate what they have. And when you actually like, I mean, this is a total disclaimer. This is not sponsored. I'm just really happy that I came across this brand and I came across this product because I know that it is going to be very, very much helpful and going to be very, very useful. Well, it is very useful to me because I think I have started using this for two weeks now and it has really improved the hair texture and I feel, I mean, I, I really can feel the protection with the heat and also because I don't feel um, much of the, the brittleness. It has a different, my hair has a different texture after it goes through blow dry and um, the flat iron when I use this, all right? So another thing that I really, really love about this brand is it actually says here on the bottle, it is cruelty free. So that means that it's not tested on animals. And then it's uh, formulated without paraben and it's sulfate free. So that means that it is when you uh, wash it off and it goes to the water and goes to the sea and things like that. Um, our marine animals and um, the sea is going to be okay. That's how I understood it. And then this is also color safe, which is very, very good. That's why I love, that's also another reason that I love about this brand. Okay, so next part are, of course, the ingredients that are in this product. As far as I can remember, there are three main ingredients that are in this product. And first thing, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. For those of you who are Portuguese speakers, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's Baba Zoo. It's Baba Zoo oil. 
and this oil actually is the one that locks in weightless moisture and also gives you that um, it um, prevents the frizz, the humidity, the frizz that is caused by humidity. So the weightless moisture gives you that light feel. At the same time, it is moisturizing your hair, which is perfect, perfect, especially here in the Middle East where it is very hot and very humid. This is going to be a perfect product. Well, for me, because I'm using hairspray, I think you won't see much of the fuzz or the frizz because after the hairspray, I like, um, clean it out, but I think even if you are um, Even if you are not using hairspray if you're just using this product and as a leave-on conditioner It would minimize the frizz that is caused by humidity Next thing is we have the Brazilian nut oil. Well, why not because this is inspired this is inspired by the whole of Brazil so it is I think but mandatory to have a Brazilian nut oil in it where in Brazilian nut as far as I know is rich in selenium and selenium actually helps strengthen your hair and also reduces breakage well for me well i use blow dry and flat iron and all of these every single day i need that selenium to really strengthen my hair and lessen breakage all right so third but definitely not the least in our key ingredients right here this also contains again for those of you who are portuguese speakers correct me if i'm wrong but I'm pronouncing it as capuasu, capuasu butter, which more or less works the same way as the babazu oil. Um, this one actually is the one that quenches the thirst on if you have, especially for me, that I color my hair as well. And of course, blow drying and ironing your hair every day also dries it out. So it quenches the thirst in all of those strands that are drying out. Plus, it doesn't weigh your hair down. So the same with, um, what do you call this? The Babazu oil, wherein it moisturizes your hair and doesn't weigh your hair down because it locks in that weightless moisture. This is going to be perfect. So I just love this basically because of the fact that it protects my hair from heat and also protects my hair from UV. All right, so how, are we, how do we usually use this? Um, this is actually suggested to be used like a leave-on conditioner. So in the morning, after washing my hair, I yes, I wash my hair every day, and I know it's not advisable, but for me, that is what works, and I wash my hair every day. And then, that is why, <laughs> that is why I need more nutrients coming in, or I need more stuff onto my hair because I do a lot of things in my hair. So, after washing my hair on a damp hair, you just, um, what do you call this? Dry your hair with a towel, and then after drying your hair, your towel, when it's filled down, you spray on and look at this. The mechanism of this is so good because as you can see, this button right here is the one that's locked and unlocked. If it's pushed like that, it's the one that is um, locked. And then if it's pushed out, that's the one where you get a, that spray. I don't know if you can see that, but that is the texture. I mean, I did spray as much, but usually I would spray like Oh my God, it smells so good. It smells like creme brulee, creme brulee or vanilla with caramel or something like that. It smells so good. I can't put it on my hair, so I'll just put it on my skin. <laughs> but that is why it really, really smells so good because um, the top notes of this is actually, like when you spray it, it really smells like pistachio and almonds. And that combination really gives you that gourmand feel that it really smells, it really smells delicious, you guys. And then middle notes is you have a bit of that floral um, heliothorpe and I think a bit of jasmine. You get a bit of that jasmine, a bit of that floral notes in the middle. And then when it dries onto your hair, it dries down super, super nice because it dries down with a bit of that um, sandalwood and you really you really smell that sandalwood and of course because all of their range are gourmand scents you have a bit of that smell of well for me it really smells like creme brulee so it would really be a dry down of vanilla and salted caramel because it's so so good so that is how you spray it so on a damp hair you spray it on your damp hair and then just work it in 
work it in your damp hair and then you start blow drying and then it's gonna be fabulous. You'll have a frizzy free hair, but still moisturized. Right. And of course, not to forget prices. Prices, prices, prices. So, um, I got this from Sephora, which actually retails for, um, I think if I'm not mistaken, 130 dirhams. And let me just convert that for you. 130 dirhams in Euro is, um, let me just convert. In Euro, that is 34 and 92 Euros, if you are referring to Euros. And if you are um, looking into dollars, 130 dirhams in dollars will be 35 and 39 cents. So that is how much this is, but it is for 210 ml and it will last you for a very, for like a long time, even if you use it daily. Because I mean, for like, for me, I don't have like that much of a long hair. Well, I have quite a thick hair, but not a long hair. So this, I think, will last me for like three or four months, even if I use it every day. So it's for 210, uh, 210 ml for 130 dirhams or uh, 35.39, uh, 35.39 or I think 34.90 something euro. All right. Well, anyways, you guys, that is our video for today. I do hope that, well, this is not sponsored, but I do hope that you give this a try and you give the brand a try, basically because it has been quite um, good reviews as well. And I know, I think the best sell their best seller of this brand, of Sol de Janeiro, Sol de Janeiro is um, the Bum Bum Cream, or it's, it's a body cream of some sort, but from this brand, that's one of their best sellers as well. So give it a try. I do hope that you enjoy it. I do hope that I get you inspired, again, to give your hair a bit of a care. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, you guys. See you on the next one. Bye.